Outside of the castle, in the desolately beautiful forest gathered the armies of humans, vampires, and werewolves. All, working together, to fight the seemingly all-powerful trinity of witches. Because they knew that when one of the trinity dies, all of the spells cast with the power of three are broken. So they stood at the ready and waited until the wall of spells protecting the castle fell. So Caitlin and Jana continued doing their tasks and every time one of the vampires in transition would try to bite them and each time they simply said the name of their master Julianne Koipk, out loud and they would release them and pull away. Then Julianne Koipk and her newly created army of vampires attacked the witches within the castle, and as spells and great electrical charges were ricocheting off of the walls the vampire Julianne Koipk went straight at the witch with the smoky eye, ignoring the other two. But the numbers were against her too many witches stood in her way, so she momentarily retreated as the trinity now truly worried that an old blood vampire had gained entry into the castle summoned all of their sisters to the great dining room to make their last stand. To defend the trinity. Johanna wanted Caitlin to hide with her under the great table, where it was safe, but Caitlin grabbed a carving knife and ran to the cells where she freed Bob. And then she said, Quickly we have to free the others so they ran down the hall opening the cell doors and freeing the prisoners. But then the vampires began feeding upon the newly freed slaves and forgot about battling the army of witches that lived in the castle. So the horde of witches that were defending the trinity, took advantage of this distraction and soon had the upper hand against the vampires. The three cannot fall the witches horde screamed as they cut and slashed their way through the vampires. So it was all a bloody mess and just as it appeared that the tide of battle had turned in the witch's favor, they did not notice a small creature scurry into the room behind the trinity, so when the vampire Julianne Koipk appeared behind them and grabbing one of the witches by the head snapped its neck. The other two surviving witches of the trinity reacted too slowly as they saw their sister fall. And then watched as the spells protecting the castle fell, and the armies of their enemies attacked. And seeing this, their sister dead and the spells cast by the power of three, falling. The two remaining two witches of the trinity switched their thinking from victory vengeance and mayhem, to survival mode, pure and simple and their thoughts focused on escaping this battle, in order to fight another day. Causing the two surviving witches to summon their brooms and fly off into the night abandoning all of their other witches to their fate. And the victorious armies of humans, vampires, monsters, and werewolves took the castle and began searching for the still beating hearts of captured monster, vampires, and werewolves. The true source of the trinity's power, that were hidden throughout the castle. And as they found them they plunged a knife or a fang into the still beating hearts, freeing them. If the monster's heart was pierced it would finally find peace. If the werewolf's heart was pierced, the werewolf would awaken from its enchanted slumber, and if the vampire's heart was pierced, the vampire would arise from his crypt reborn. The leaders of the monsters, werewolves, and vampires all stood on the main balcony in front of their armies, but because the human leader did not trust her allies, it fell to Caitlin, Johanna, and Bob to represent the humans on the balcony and stand with the other leaders. As all below cheered them then the vampire Julianne Coip gave them their share of the booty that was captured when they took the castle and told them that the alliance, the truce will only last until someone decides to break it, so they needed to be out of the forest and back behind.